My research project will be focused on the issue of environmental justice. Environmental justice is defined as the fair treatment and meaningful involvement of all people with respect to the development, implementation, and enforcement of environmental laws and regulations. Specifically, this video will discuss how biochar affects climate change mitigation as well as other sociocultural and socioeconomic aspects of society. Some key terms related to peace studies include individual responsibility, which is the idea that human beings choose, instigate, and otherwise cause their own actions. Positive peace, which is the right relationships or positive associations. These include relationships to our natural world. Social entrepreneur, which is a person who establishes an enterprise with the aim of solving social problems or affecting social change. And climate wars, which are wars or conflicts provoked by climate change. This issue is significant because climate change affects us all. Society needs to deal with this issue as a whole because it is not one country's or one person's responsibility to fight for environmental justice. Peaceful human societies must be built on sustainable economic systems that leave Earth habitable for future generations. The organization I volunteered with is called Sustain Hawaii. Sustain Hawaii's mission is to help transform our island's capacity for enduring self-reliance by balancing ecological, social, cultural, and economic needs through community education, innovative practice, and advocacy. So I founded um, Sustain Hawaii about 16 years ago in 2004 and it was the result of an international conference on sustainability at the Dole Cannery and it was the first time I had heard about sustainability and I knew from that point forward that, that, that was like I was going to get engaged heavily in sustainability activities for the rest of my life. And now we're on, a, we're on a 20 acre farm that we're converting into a regenerative food forest and kind of an incubator accelerator. So you might be asking yourself, what is biochar? Here I ask Kevin. Biochar is biological charcoal. So it's, it's a plant-based material that gets um, kind of a flash burn. If you go to like a bonfire or something and, and you see the golden embers and then you squelch them, you don't let them go to a secondary burn that actually moves it down to turning into ash that then you see often at the end of most of the bonfire. Um, you douse it with sand, you douse it with water, you, you totally enclose it so it doesn't get any more oxygen. So the result is, is that it's those golden embers that have now been cooled that are only remaining charcoal. And that charcoal becomes a really beneficial product. So what are the benefits that biochar could have, let's say, for local farmers? So of course, one of the, the greatest benefits for biochar is for the farmers and growers and gardeners. Um, if, we, if farmers don't have to purchase imported petroleum-based fertilizers, um, for one, they are closing the loop and they have less of an expense. Um, farmers have the benefit of either supporting another local um, farmer or organization. Um, they can produce it themselves. Either way, it's going to cost them less. Uh, it's going to have a higher yield. It's carbon negative, And there's more nutrients um, as a result of the process. Those are just a few of the benefits. Biochar has many kind of benefits ranging from environmental, social, cultural, and economic as well. It is exactly that product that I Love Biochar, a new project in development under Sustain Hawaii's umbrella, is trying to master. Here, Keanu Freitas, lead developer at I Love Biochar, explains biochar's role with climate change mitigation. When we create biochar, we decrease the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, therefore reducing the greenhouse effect. Uh, and if we think about it, uh, global warming is generally caused by the increase of carbon dioxide and greenhouse gases. We all have the responsibility to find ways to live more sustainably with our planet, and creating biochar is one of the ways to do that. When we create biochar, in contrast to slash and burn practices, we don't release carbon into the atmosphere. Carbon is sequestered because of the lack of oxygen, therefore trapping carbon and char below the ground instead of in the atmosphere. This amazing soil amendment was actually discovered in 1870 by James Orton, a little-known American geologist and explorer who noticed that alongside the typically gray acidic soils of the basin, there existed large patches of black and very fertile soil. This discovery was in what we now know as Terra Preta, the most fertile land on Earth. Research has shown that biochar application increased crop yields of maize over the control between 2.2 tons per hectare. Also, application of biochar amendment on rice fields improved rice yields by 12 to 14%. Most importantly, 
a full 12% of global greenhouse gas emissions could be offset with biochar produced from sustainably obtained biomass. Hawaii can be viewed as an example of the meso-impact level of analysis. The islands can deal with multiple problems, including invasive species, island self-reliance, and climate change mitigation. It could also regenerate its depleted soils from years of monocrop farming. Not only will the islands benefit from the reduction carbon footprint, but it will also help achieve the state's goal of safe sustainability by the year of 2050. In conclusion, after my volunteer experience at Sustain Hawaii, I have found that biochar has many more benefits than I originally thought. Not only does it help sequester carbon from the atmosphere, but it has a wide range of economic benefits as well. This product can be a vehicle to deal with more than one social cultural issue if fully exploded. I believe that in the near future, I Love Biochar will expand its operations and therefore positively impact a larger group of people. I want to encourage everyone to do their part and support any effort to combat climate change because it is our responsibility as human beings.